What's going on guys? Popular demand. People have been asking me to make a video of my uh, setup, my HQ. You know, I got that really, really powerful rig and whatnot. And people have just been dying to see it. And well, this is it right here. This is the uh, this is the power horse. This is the the meat of the operation. This thing right here, man. This thing, this thing gets work done. We're thinking. Uh, let's see here. There's like an i7 in here. Thing's got like four gigabytes of RAM. It's got a, it's got a 1080p monitor. Uh, built-in graphics card and this thing this thing's got like look at this look at this chiclet keyboard oh oh feel that feel that so good look at that look at that. even detachable tab key so I mean that's that's it in a nutshell that's uh that's what I do all my streaming on my video editing and uh just battlefield this puppy cranks out in the lowest settings possible um so yeah I mean that's that's my setup right there Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, you know, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe, and all that stuff. If you guys want to see more of this beautiful thing, just uh, thumbs up. So take it easy. Logging Barry, logging in. But on the reels, guys, this is HQ right here. This is Command Central. This this puppy right here is what gets work done. I know, I know. Pretty corny showing the laptop in the beginning, but I mean, I think I'm the funniest motherfucker around. You know, you know, eh, eh, all right. But for real though, this puppy right here, whew, long trip it's been to get her here. Look at this, look at this, we'll just do a nice little sweep right here. You guys like that logo? I think it's pretty sweet. It's it's still a work in progress, still a work in progress. So let's just, let's just get a little, little action right here. Check out that MTG deck pad, you know, there's the actual, actual money maker. All right, all right. So yeah, this is my puppy. This is my baby. It took me a while to get her here. This isn't all like, oh, I went out and bought it all at once. No, no, no. This is like a year and a half in the making right here. So let's just take a seat real quick. Oh, baby, this is what it's like to be me. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. So let's just give a breakdown of what we got here. We got three Asus 24-inch monitors, 50 million to one pixel aspect uh, ratio, 1080p, 60 hertz. So nothing too extreme. They're really good for the price during the time. They're hella cheap right now. You get them for like a buck twenty, which is really good. They're excellent monitors. Uh, they are IPT, not IPS panels. So you'll get different. You notice how the color, maybe you can't tell through the camcorder, but the color is different than when you're staring at the main monitor. Uh, so I have three monitors set up going on here. Uh, and then up top is the TV. It's a 46-inch uh, Samsung LCD LED, 120 hertz. Uh, it's excellent. It's a great TV. Uh, it's, it makes those movies look. It makes movies look fake. I don't even know. It, it's weird. So that looks that looks so dope like that. Uh, and then on the the stand right here. Hang on. Let's swing it around on the stand. This is the uh, X FX. Oh, a little X broke off here. That sucks. Um, you can't get this stand anymore. It was a limited run. So I'm sure you can get it on eBay or something like that. But it's excellent. Uh, 24 inch, and they're mounted on there. You screw them in the back. It's an it's a heavy stand. This thing weighs like 40 pounds alone. Um, looks really badass. K ignore the cables. Ignore the cables. <laughs> so definitely, definitely an awesome stand. Uh, here's the webcam, the Logitech C310 or something like that. So 1080p, 60 FPS, really nice webcam. Uh, hopefully we can start using that again in the future. Uh, let's go with my peripherals here. We got the Razer Naga. Had this thing for almost oh god fuck four years. I've had this. I've had this thing for a while. I heart, I don't even use these. Like I don't even use them, but it's still an excellent mouse. This thing's held up really well. And this is actually my new keyboard, the clickety clackety. Mm, I know you guys like that. This is the uh, Corsair Vengeance K60. It's either K60 or K70. Uh, cherry red switch. So this thing lights up so nice. God, I love the way it lights up. So good. So definitely that. And then uh, my mouse pad here is actually an MTG. Uh, Pro uh, card uh, card mat or Ultra Pro, sorry, card mat that uh, you play Magic the Gathering on. So I works just as well as a mouse pad. It's excellent. Uh, people always ask me what headphones or what headset I use. I have the Astro A50s wireless. Oh, hang on, it's getting focus. There we go. They're an awesome headset. Definitely, definitely worth the money. Uh, definitely good. Um, this is the mixer that goes with it that allows you to have the uh, surround sound and optical in. There's a really long ass cable to charge it when it dies on me. Uh, the desk this is a nice desk. This this puppy right here, 
Oh man, she started on a picnic table, guys. She started on a picnic table. So the desk I picked up on Craigslist, person was selling it right around the corner. Nice older couple, and guitar amp. So definitely, uh, definitely nice desk, you know. And since this is Command HQ, guys, this this is Command Central. All right, you gotta be prepared. All right, it's Nerf or it's nothing. All right, you never know when you're gonna get raided. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's jump right over here. This right here is the Antec Dark Fleet uh, version two, I believe. So it's an excellent case. It's a full tower. It's got three or two USB 3.0s on the front, two 2.0 headphone jacks, uh, 3.5 millimeters power button or power button restart button. And it's got a uh, SSD hot swap bay. I don't have this plugged in. I just left it alone. Uh, no Blu-ray. Got a PS3 for that. So just a DVD drive. In the front, I like this. I like this. The uh, 120, 120 millimeter. Yeah, 120 millimeter fans. You just swat, you know, come right off. You can pull out these uh, these little detachable f filters right here. Just wipe them off, put them back in. That's a nice feature. I like that. As I fucking, I'm gonna break it. Jesus. Scrub, learn to use your hardware. So inside the belly of the beast. So right at the top, I believe that's a Western Digital Green Drive, two terabyte. Going down is the oh 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 is my finger. Going down is my finger. Jesus. Uh, let's see. That's the one terabyte. Uh, caviar black 10,000 RPMs and then a couple SSDs right here in the front I believe it's the 120 and the 60 so the 60 gig is a cache drive for the 1 terabyte so it speeds it up even fast speeds and then the uh, 120 is where my operating system is and then we got a Samsung something 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 256 gigs which is what I put all my games on alright so let's just jump around over here real quick take this off, real preemptive just slide that off I don't really keep the screws on it, there's no point. Very limited space over here, guys. It's just kind of against the wall, so bear with me. All right, in here is the H110i uh, self-contained liquid cooling. Or uh, it's, I guess it's not liquid cooling, it's just self-contained cooling. Uh, whatever. Up top, uh, two, shit. Two 120? Do the two, I think it's 250s. Yeah, because this is a 120 or 125, so this has got to be like a 250 or something like that. So when I bought the uh, I bought the H100, it was actually too it was too big to fit in here. So the H110's got smaller uh, radiator and fan. So I tried to put them on the back side here the first time and it didn't fit. So then I ended up putting it up top. I wish I could put it back there, but oh well. Um, 16 gigabytes of Ripjaw RAM, 24, 33 megahertz or something like that. Uh, the i7. 2600K Sandy Bridge. It's a uh, Asus Maximus Extreme Z4 uh, motherboard. Excellent motherboard. The BIOS are really easy to work with and overclocking. Definitely recommend the Asus motherboard. They're doing a lot of good work. Uh, Asus anything, it's just good. And for my graphics cards, we got two beautiful GTX 690s in an SLI with a beautiful EVGA SLI bridge. Oh, uh, candy. And ignore the clusterfuck that is the wiring management. Ignore that. Don't look at it. And a uh, finish it off an AX1200 modular power supply by Corsair. So, uh, yeah, take a look at the back. Anything going on back here? Yeah, it's a clusterfuck. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's her in a nutshell, guys. This is, uh, I call her Uber Pwn Sauce version 2. So, I'll get one last little look right here. Very nice. Oh, the chair. The chair. Everyone's always fucking asking about the chair. This is a DX Racer. You get off their website, dxracer.com, D-X-R-C-R-A-C-E-R, -R -E DX Racer, right there, see, look. ta -da. So, fucking great chair, good stuff. So, close it out one more time. Oh, God, that logo looks good. We're going to work on it a little more, though. So, that's my, uh, that's my baby right there, guys. So, I hope you liked the video. Hope it wasn't too long. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know. Let me know how clean my desk is. Okay, I cleaned. I cleaned for this. You have no idea how many papers and Mountain Dew cans are normally on there. Like that little that this drawer. I gotta show you this desk. This desk, built-in cup holder. This is where I put all the Mountain Dew cans. It's great, right? All right. Logberry logging out. Take it easy, guys.